Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Rob from Panther Vision, and today we're gonna draw a raccoon using the symmetry tool. And I'm gonna show you that later how it's gonna look and what it is. But right now I'm gonna upscale this and bring the opacity down. So can I draw on this? Basically, I'm gonna create more sketches. I'm gonna copy some of the elements from the raccoon's uh, head and uh, some of the characteristics and from there I'm gonna create more layers and like bounce in different direction create different kind of abstract raccoons or you know some more simple versions of raccoons with you know, which can be basically used as a logo or as a symbol right now we have this I gotta create a new layer and from here I gonna click to the brush you can see here the brush selected and from here you can see this little butter butterfly where you're gonna click the vertical and it's gonna create this line right here and I'm gonna place it right where the nose is basically so from here I'm going to hit B in the brush tool again and I'm gonna start drawing let me see as you can see it started to you know make the lines also at the other side it perfect, perfectly reflected these and you know it's more simple to draw it out to create the forms and shapes it takes less time and it's like more interesting what basically it's gonna come out um, the end, I mean at the end um, right now I'm looking at like different forms and elements for example this curvature right here how it's going uh, I also gonna add, add some shadings here and there but right now all right I think we're good I'm gonna remove the image and I'm gonna style it a little bit so this could be the first one it could go something like that you can see at the nose i separated these it looks really interesting how i saw i also separated here i don't know i just had a feeling that it's going to come out differently and here it's going to be something like that all right so yeah mainly speaking this is the symmetry tool oh, the controls is not good. all right so this would be the first form and right now i'm going to create another layer and scale the opacity down on this layer and I'm going to recreate this thing and I'm gonna think what basically I could do with this I can go like this to connect these and with this right here and I can come down with this right here basically I'm ba brainstorming I'm not thinking seriously that this is how it's supposed to look like you know I'm just finding new ways searching for new interesting stuff that's it but i really like like this line how it's going so far how it's going out and this how it's going like really organically and how these are also behaving in their own ways so yeah it's creating some interesting stuff so far i'm going to remove this layer and here we have this this also looks like a raccoon so and I'm gonna eventually go with this like this interesting look at that I'm gonna click to the X so we can switch the colors from black to white and I'm gonna repaint here this part you know er er basically erase a little bit and then hit uh, X again and switch it back to the normal pencil color 
And I'm also thinking what to do with this line in here. It also can go here. This is a type of brainstorming approach, like um, it's pretty easy to like overdraw in layers in, in uh, Photoshop. You can do it traditionally also by doing it, um, you know, on transparent papers and you're going to get the results there also. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye bye.